Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is CSI Strawberry DNA. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is three strawberries, rubbing alcohol, measuring cups, salt, water, dish soap, bowl, funnel, skewer, Ziploc bag, and a test tube. Welcome to Kids Fun Science. Today we're going to be extracting DNA from a strawberry. All right, and we have our helpers are Chris and Hayes. All right, so what do we need to do first? We're gonna make a solu we're gonna make a solution, right? All right. So we need to mix one half tablespoon of salt and okay. one third cup of water. Okay. One half tablespoon, one third cup of water, and one um, half tablespoon of salt. And we're gonna put that as a mixture, right? We're gonna use later, so we have to prep this first. So he's getting the salt going there. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. There we go, that looks I good. I got the water. Okay, go ahead and pour those in. A one third cup water. And then we also need one tablespoon of dishwashing, uh, dish soap. So extracting DNA from a strawberry. I've never done this before, so as this all experiments. This might take a few tries. Okay, there you go. Well, one thing, at least the salt will be clean, right? Because we have soap in it. All right, so we can stir that around a little bit. You want to stir it? Yeah. Hey, bubbles. Okay. There we go. Nice and gentle. We don't want to get in bubbles. Just like that. Perfect. And we kind of make sure the salt... You see any salt crystals in there? We want to make well, sure I they... I feel the salt crystals. You do? Okay, we'll keep, spinning, we'll keep uh, stirring that until they're all gone. I'm going to stop for a second. So what we're mixing right here, uh, Hayes is mixing, is the extraction liquid that we're going to use later. Okay, so it looks like it's almost there, still kind of there? Yep. Okay. All right, so once we get that done, we'll step on to the next uh, step. All right, so now we're going to the next step. What are we doing? We're taking we're off the tops of the um, strawberries. Okay, go ahead and take those off. Nice, perfect. One, <laughs> two strawberries, one hand, good. Uh. All right, now where are we going to put them? We're gonna put the strawberries, the strawberries in, in the bag. bag. Okay, go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then we have to make sure what comes out of the bag. Oh, yeah. yeah. So kind of almost, yeah, squeeze it all out. There we go. Now for two minutes, we are going to smush the strawberries. You don't want to break the bag, but we want to smush them. Oh, this is gonna be difficult because they're all like frozen. Are they frozen? Well, not frozen, but you got my finger. They're kind of like sort of frozen. Yeah, a little they're air in there. Right? Take, let's take that air out. A nice squeeze in there. So I'm not good. timing it, but I, I'm looking on the recorder here, so I'll, I'll watch how long. Feel you like could time lap it. I could, huh? Let's see. Boy, looks good. I think I'm going to have a strawberry now. <laughs> it seems like a kind of juice. It's well, that is juice. This is basically fish juice. All right, yeah. so we're going to do this for two minutes, and then we'll come back. All right, so now we are going to be putting three tablespoons of this mixture. mixture into, into the bag. Okay, the ones we made earlier, the, the extraction liquid we made earlier, right? Yes. There's one, two, two, and three. Now this time, how long do we, after we get the air out of the bag, how long are we going to squeeze it up? One minute. Okay. All right. I don't think I've ever uh, squeezed strawberries this much in my entire life. Well, you aren't squeezing them. <laughs> we are. All right, so we'll come back. We're going to let you do that for a minute, and then we're getting ready to, to filter out all the, the excess of the strawberries. We'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to be pouring all this liquid yeah. into the funnel so that we, the solids will stay on top and the liquids will go down. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe might have to hold. So we're pouring that in there. So all the three minutes of squeezing. Oops, so, I spilled. Right. Yeah. It's not an experiment unless we get messy. There's some drops leaking yeah. down there. Is it coming through? Yeah. yeah, it's starting to come through, huh? Yeah. Very slowly though. Yeah, that's fine. It'll go through. There's a lot of liquid there. So we'll check back in a second. So now we 
are going to put this into the bag. Okay. And take the funnel out. Okay, and so we can see how much juice got in yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. So it's all strained out. Good, good. And, and we're now... going to get some rubbing alcohol okay. and fill it half cup. And. Okay. Mm, Perfect. That's good. All right, one second. Go. Now we're going to be using the pipettes pipe and taking out the rubbing alcohol okay. and slowly putting it in on, to the, side. on the sides okay. of the strawberry juice. Perfect. Yeah, because we just want it to rest on top of the strawberry, right? As you can see, it's, it's going per You guys are doing perfect. It's going right on top. And it's extracting the DNA. We're gonna make a strawberry monster. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Good job, guys. That does look cool. Yeah. It, I feel like it kind of looks like a waffle lamp. Yeah, it does look like a waffle lamp. Cool. Good job. Go a little bit higher. We don't probably won't use the whole um, half a cup, but. We're making a strawberry lava lamp. Okay, one, uh, one more. Finish both of those and then we'll stop. Go. Alright, now we are going to be examining the strawberry juice and putting the bamboo skewer, skewer into it. And we see some stringy white, white stuff, stuff that's probably the DNA. Okay. So let's extract it. But don't grab, put it in. Yeah, try to grab some of that. Scoop it up. Can you scoop? Try to scoop, scoop okay. it in. But don't try to get any of the strawberry. Okay, I see you're getting it. Yeah, you got some. Oh, cool. See, we extracted some DNA from strawberry. All right. That's awesome. It's a little too close. Cool. Now you guys want to try try pulling more out? Yeah, here. here. Whoa, that's nice. cool. Nice. It doesn't really look like DNA. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but that's really cool. I see some like cool like spiral stuff. That yeah, well maybe under a microscope, which we don't have unfortunately, but that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So you're able to pull it all out. It's just on the bottom it's sitting there, huh? Yeah. It actually wonder, looks like snow. I wonder <laughs> I wonder if we try to get some of the strawberry what will happen. I don't know, we can try that in a second, but we want to make we sure. We can do more I want to hold, I want to try it. Hold, let me see what it feels like. I can't really, it doesn't really have a, oh there, it's a little solid. As I, after I squeeze it, I can feel a little bit, I get a little bit of it there. Okay, let me cut it. So now we're putting it, trying to put it into the red stuff. And, and see what happens. we're going to see what happens. Okay. And it looks like we're oh, getting there's just like a more of a... Reddish. Reddish DNA strands. That's so cool. Like, it, like you get it, and then once it comes out of water, it just yeah. goes down. Yeah, because the mass is more heavier. All right, so you guys ready to have strawberries later? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the observations and the results were, we were able to see the DNA in the test tube when we added the cold rubbing alcohol. The DNA mostly uh, layered in the alcohol in between the layers of the alcohol and right above the strawberry liquid that we added. When we added the salt and detergent mixture into the smashed strawberries, the detergent helped pop open the strawberry cells releasing the DNA into the solution, whereas the salt helped create the environment where the different DNA strands could gather and clump making it easier for us to see them. When we added the salt and detergent mixture, you probably mostly saw the bubbles form in the bag because of the detergent. After we added the cold rubbing alcohol to the filtered strawberry liquid, the alcohol should have participated the DNA out of the liquid while the rest of the liquid remained in the solution. That's when we were able to see the white, clear, gooey DNA strands in the alcohol layer as well between the two layers of the strawberry liquid. A single strand of DNA is extremely tiny, too tiny to see with the naked eye, but because of the DNA clumped in this experiment, you were able to see how much of it in the three strawberries we had when all the cells were combined. Alright, thanks Thank for watching, watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. 
and I want to make a shout out to Logan Paul. I'm in the Logan, and I love your videos. And I also want to make a shout out to Lance Stewart. Hope you're doing good, man, with that car crash, and hope you feel better. All right. Also, check out my channel. It's Minecraft Gamer B. It will probably be in the link below. Um, and shout out to my friend Eminem. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.